diverse. Uh, we here have Africa, Americas, Asia. It, uh, it's not always true that the royalty rates vary depending on the, on the region or the exclusivity or the duration. Uh, we expect uh, some type of results, but uh, it's important for us to check every time that we select a group of agreements uh, based on the industry, on the, on the product, on the intangibles. It's important for us to double check if maybe the region or the duration and the exclusivity are significant factors that influence our royalty rates or the other payments. Here we have also a chart on the, on the structure of the royalty and how the royalty rate varies according to the additional payments. In our experience, in our practice, uh, the existence of additional payments, milestone payments, license fee, upfront fees, it's usually what has a bigger influence on the, on the royalty rates. So it's a point to be taken, it's a point to, to, for us to pay attention to whenever we are doing an IP valuation for transfer pricing and we're using compar comparable license agreements, we need to take that to an, into account and test for the influence of these factors. So thank you very much for your attention today. Um, as our moderator said, we'll take questions at the end of the session. <laughs>